When I evaluate a quarterback, and in this case, specifically Carson Wentz, there are certain tools, physical tools, that I look for. Obviously, arm strength, velocity, basically touch and accuracy, along with the ability to throw off platform, not always on platform. And then you wanna see, can he escape? Can he extend plays? And then inevitably, can he make first downs with his legs? So what I've done here today is I've taken a 10 play filter out of this year's state, not back to 217, not back to North Dakota State, but a 10 play filter from game seven against the New York Giants. And I think in that 10 plays, you will see exactly what Carson brings to the table. Okay, the first play, you're gonna see up tall, he's looking into the big inside curl. You see a big release, quick arm, very reminiscent really of Andrew Luck with that overhand delivery. Very good inside second level throw. Okay, now we're gonna come and we're gonna see a great throw up into the adjustment seam of cover two. That is in front of the safety and behind the corner. Now this ball has to be thrown perfectly because if there's too much on it, the safety makes the play. And if there's too little, the corner makes the play. Great throw against cover two. Now you're gonna see him burn the out cut in the second level. Now that's good coverage, real tight, very little separation. And he throws an aspirin tablet in here. Sets, throws the ball with authority, quick release, perfect on the sidelines. All right, absolutely perfect. Now what you're gonna see is, a, is an, what I call an an off-platform throw. In other words, he looks to the left, it isn't there, but he comes back to the right without having to reset. See him move in the pocket and just strictly arm throw it in there. Guys have to make plays, you know, outside the platform. Now you have designed bootleg, so to speak. He's on the run and he throws a perfect dart to the crossing pattern. Again, you're gonna be able to challenge the defense with Wentz because he has the athleticism to get out on the perimeter and make the throw. All right, now what you're gonna do is you are gonna challenge now the outside part of the field with a fade route. And this is something that we didn't do in 220. And I think he's gonna bring the deep throw back as Andrew did before. As you see him look around, he takes that safety off, makes a nice throw up on the fade route right there for a big play. We just looked at some critical plays, some top NFL, what I call Sunday accuracy plays. And now we're gonna look at crunch time. The last four plays are taken from the last five minutes and 53 seconds of this game against the Giants in which the Eagles trailed by 10. So they need Carson to step up here and make plays. We're gonna see Carson look to his left gets the safety out of the read. Now he makes a perfect throw down the field. Again, challenging the corner one-on-one, -on -one, which again, I think he's gonna bring back to our offense. Look at him, he's looking the safety away, comes back with a nice easy throw over the top, very catchable, very accurate, deep ball. Stretches the field, turns it around. Now he's in the tight red zone. He's coming out on a sprint, tight, tight coverage, bang, right there, completion for a touchdown to get him back in the game. Now this again, on the move, absolute, absolutely perfectly placed ball. Now you're gonna see him with a blitz coming from his strong side. He sees it, he avoids the rush, he escapes. This is the escapability and extension, and then he makes a tremendous play downfield to put them in position for the second touchdown. Again, he senses it. He moves, he shows the athleticism, and then the dart on the run to get you down to the 30. And this is spectacular. This is the game winner. He was originally looking to the left to throw the double post. It wasn't there. He comes back and throws an absolute perfect strike to the running back who comes out late, steps up, makes an absolute perfect throw with 40 seconds to go in the game 
to win the football game. So if you can't get excited about that, there's something wrong with you. You know, certainly from that 10 play filter, you can see what this young 28 year old guy can bring, the athleticism, the talent that he brings to the franchise. What's even more exciting is the reuniting of Carson Wentz with his mentor, Coach Reich. You know, Coach Reich had, a year ago, he did the same thing with Phillip Rivers. He was able to help his mechanics, help the ball security, and get him to play within himself. Remember, coaching at the pro level is not just plays. We can find plays on the internet. What coaching is at the NFL level is putting your players in the best position to win and then getting them to buy in. He certainly did it with Phillip a year ago. I'm totally confident that he's gonna do it again. And Carson, you're a fortunate man. I know you wanna be here. You're coming to one of the elite franchises in all of sport. You got a strong offensive line. You got a sensational young running back, a formidable defense. All we ask you to do is be yourself and let it rip. This locker room, this community, the media are gonna extend themselves to you. Be yourself, trust the scheme and trust the team.